Hello everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a camping game shop GUI. So a camping game shop GUI usually it's where you step on this thing or something where it says like shop and then if you step on it it shows you the shop GUI and then if you don't step on it anymore or if you get off it then it should yeah it should turn invisible or something like that it goes away. And yeah, so I'm just going to be teaching you how to do that. So I did make a Game Pass tutorial. You can go watch that if you want. And yeah, so this is just the shop UI. I won't teach you how to actually make it work in the in the like the story part of the game. But yeah, so the first thing you want to do is all the Game Pass buttons. Like I have my shop UI, so I'm going to make it towards yeah. So I want. P I for this, I want you to put all your buttons into something like a frame or something like that. And yeah, so once you have that, you can put the tech, you can just put the game pass name or whatever. But yeah, so what I want you to do is put a value. I want to do int value. So we're just going to call this ID. And yeah. And if we just copy and paste that, and yeah, I just want to for the ID, this is just your game pass ID for these. And I'm just going to use a game pass ID that I'm going to be uh, that I'm going to be using in my in the game I'm, going, I'm working on. So yeah, let me just get the ID. Okay, so I got the ID now, and yeah, I'm just going to paste it here. So I'm just I'm not going to do different IDs because you know, the point of this tutorial is to show uh, how to make it visible and invisible. But yeah, I'm just going to do the same ID. This won't be a real game, so. Okay, so now we can close those up since we got the IDs in there. Okay, now we can make a local script and put it in there or wherever you want in the GUI. But yeah, I'm just going to put it here. And we're just going to do. For I V in pairs, script dot parent get children do, and what this will do is it will get every child inside here. So yeah, and then we can do if V is a, and we, if you're doing get text buttons like me, then you will put in text button here. But if you're doing image buttons, then you will put an image button. But for me, I'm doing text button, so I do text button. So we can just right here and just do make sure it is a text button and then we can do yeah we can do v wait no we can do if v find first child then we can do id then and we're just doing this to make sure that we have an id in there that and make sure is that there is i id inside okay inside text label and then we can do if we can do another check it will just check if, if it's a real id like if it's set to zero it won't work so yeah we're just gonna do if um, v dot id dot value is greater than zero then we can just do let's we can do makes sure there is an id in id let's just put that and yeah we can do v dot mouse button one click connect function and what this is going to do is if we click on if we so it's a we know it's a text button it's a button so we can just do the button and this is the event for clicking a button and yeah so we can just do game dot marketplace service and we use a function called prompt game pass purchase and then here we're just going to put our player which is game dot players dot local player and then we put the id which will be v dot id dot value and yeah, this part should be 
ready to go if we would just test that now and see if the if the game pass prompt works so let's just see okay so if we would just click on one it should show up this thing but it says the item it won't it's not it should show you to if you want to purchase it or not it doesn't show that for me because this the game pass I used is currently not for sale so it won't charge you but yeah it, it should work for every game pass if you put every ID correctly and yeah so now we want to go to the second part which is make which is the uh, which is the GUI only only visible if there are they are on the hitbox thing so I I just want you to make sure you have you have a hitbox so I have my hitbox and in the hitbox and it will be for me it will be in this this model called shop and yeah so we can do yeah we can do while wait do so this is every 0 0.001 second it will just yes it won't lag I don't think but yeah it, it shouldn't lag your game but yeah okay so we can do if oh yeah we should probably do let's do repeat okay we should do repeat wait until game dot okay until game dot players dot local player dot character and what this means is it will keep uh, it will yield until we have our character the reason why I don't the reason why it's just only game dot players dot local player dot character instead of like if equal doesn't equal nil is because if we just do this it will just do uh, repeat wait until uh, our character is not nil or nothing so yeah okay so while we do we can do okay, let's do local magnitude equals game dot players dot local play oh wait hold on so we got we can just do game dot not players dot local player dot character dot we can just do primary part dot position minus we can do minus game dot workspace dot shop dot hitbox dot position which is pretty much right here my hitbox and then we can do this will just give us the magnitude and yeah so okay so we can yeah let's just check the size and the size is 6.5 so that should be the magnitude for us for us it should be 3.25 I believe yeah so the reason why I'm doing half is because I think um, the magnitude because like the size is like the because we're going for the I guess the radius if I'm correct like we're not doing diameter we're just doing radius if you know what I mean so yeah so we just do okay so we can do if magnitude is less than or equal to 3.25 it does it doesn't ha always have to be 3.25 you just do the you just do half of your the size of yours so then then we can do script dot parents dot visible equals false and we should do else oh wait hold on never mind true and then if it's greater than 3.25 we can set that to false so now if we would test it it should work okay let's let it load oh okay oh i'm so sorry um Yep, I made a mistake. I forgot to put dot magnitude and then it should work. So, okay. Okay, so let's just. Yep. Okay. So now it should be loading. Okay. So, yeah. If we were to get near here, it should show the G. Okay. Okay, so I changed up my magnitude a bit to 4.5 because it was 
more accurate. I think it, the reasoning behind this is because the magnitude is kind of like a spear, I guess. So it was so it would kind of go like kind of curve a bit, I guess. And my humanoid root part would be up here, and it wouldn't try to count it down here. So I think that's the reason reasoning behind it. So I changed it to 4.5. It's much better, and yeah. So just play around with your magnitude if you want to change it up a bit or to make it the magnitude more accurate and yeah so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i hope you uh, learned something i hope you use this or use this kit and yeah you can change up the gui obviously and yeah as long as you follow my the main things then you should be good yeah, okay so see you later bye, -bye.